That's how you want to get me a fine to have you and like you? Nah, that's all right. How much money do you have, though? I really like this purse. In order to pull off these moves, you're going to have to have a tremendous amount of internal understanding. I can bring back exes. I can say hi to a make her melt when I'm ordering, like all kinds of Want to learn that? Well, that's what I'm teaching you. Okay. So as a master of seduction, as someone who understands the mind and how to use the psychology to attract the female properly, you have to be fluid in your movement. The martial arts that we do to where we live, to every part of my life is calibrated, designed to get the most beautiful, highest value woman on earth to fall in love with me because it is worth it. That's all I can tell you. It's worth it. There's no high like it. Now, if you are wanting to do this right, this talk is for you to check your commitment. A hundred years from now, God knows what they're going to be doing. Human, humans seem to be advancing in the way they move their bodies. You have to know that. I've been in the martial arts for a very long time. I know the moves they're doing now. Man, we, yeah, we thought they were possible in video games. These fools are throwing it like it's nothing right now. We keep advancing, right? It's the same thing when it comes to women. What we're doing now, they never dreamt it was possible. A guy in 2023 with eight girlfriends that hot, listening to him just enough time to have more like give me a break that's what you're learning and a major part of that is to advance with me as i continue to train in order to pull off these moves you're going to have to have a tremendous amount of internal understanding i can bring back exes i can say hi to a make her melt when i'm ordering like all kinds of you want to learn that? Well, that's what I'm teaching you. This month, we're dealing with the, the formula, how to make it kick in for us like this. Stop thinking so much. You're thinking too much. There's a way to think, all right? But first, we have to stop thinking that other way. And that's the first step of this camp, okay? The avatar is to learn to tap in on a level where your expression becomes easy and natural and you could move with it. If you were going to measure the confinement versus freedom, of expression of every man on the screen right now, even though they're not talking. And I want people to be able to measure. A lot of you are aware of it and trying to loosen it up. And that's the practice. And I'm letting you just know where we're going with the avatar. We're going to be cleaning this internal structure. And what you'll see in me starting tonight, because I'm in the field now. I'm in the field tonight, bro. You thought I was free? Watch the freedom because I can feel it. Some of you like know the importance of being free in their expression. And every time they try, they hit a wall. They're standing right on this wall they can't break through. And they're looking. It's like a glass wall. They can see exactly where they're going to be. They know what it's supposed to feel like. They get it. But goddamn, I can't. It's like a fish in a fish tank. But the fish tank is put inside the ocean. And the fish is hitting it. And there's a the ocean. They're like, right? They understand what I'm saying, the importance of this thing. But it's like, I can't break through. That's right. I know. But what am I saying? As I'm saying it about the different people, you yourself are somewhere on that line. And I want everyone to understand this month, the advanced class is about freedom of expression. Your true voice needs to start coming out, bro. It's like, how can I? Okay, I'm going to be a girl right now. Ready? I'm going to be a girl. How can I like you when you can't even talk? Like, do I really want to hang out with a guy who's is plugged with some kind of a uh, where he stays inside him the whole day? You seem toxic to me. It's uncomfortable to be around somebody who's so tight all the time. Why well, can't you talk? Are you all right? What's the matter with you? What are you hiding from me? That's how I feel. If I'm going to be a girl and I'm going to be around you, I'm going to start being like, what are you, a wall? Why can't you talk? What do you want to just me? Oh, okay. That sounds great. You have money? You have something to exchange? You have something to exchange with me? Because your personality in exchanging right now. And then when you start talking, right? In the beginning, I'm going to be giving you the solution. I'm not just giving you the problem. The solution is the next class. And when you start talking, you sound like you're showing off. Now now I'm supposed to you? First, you can't talk. Now when you talk, you're just trying to show off. Are you all right, bro? How old are you? How old are you? You sound like you're 12. That's how you want to get me a fine to have with you and like you? Nah, that's all right. How much money do you have, though? I really like this purse. It's getting cold. I wish I had some warm shoes. Okay, princess. Money's coming your way so that you could talk to me. Get the f out of here. Okay? Where's your personality? And then you have like, and they're like talking. And their personality is going. And like, oh, oh, okay. Ah, it's really nice talking. But like, dang, that's the other side. So they got to pull back and listen to her a little bit. Learn how to acknowledge her. And little by little, spurt out. If there's all this bottle of energy in here, you have to undo the top and not be like, Poosh. you got to be like, Shoot it and it's 
but you got to be like filled with power. Spread it out with her. Then, you know, during, to give her more. Like, ah! Enough, enough. Okay? It's enough. So how do you get better? Well, you see, you're not dealing with her. You think you're dealing with her. You're actually dealing with your mind. You're dealing with your own idea before you deal with her. See if that's true. You're dealing with an idea before you deal with her. So I'm going to now approach her and I'm going to talk to her about whatever the I'm going to talk to her about. And I get the thought, right? I get the thought, oh man, like she probably has a boyfriend. That's a thought. That's a thought that I'm dealing with right now. It's not anything besides I just had a thought that she may have a boyfriend, okay? Then I start going, okay, well, I don't want to be rejected right now. That's a thought. That's not, that's just a thought. Nothing's happened. I'm looking at her and my mind is telling me she may have a boyfriend. I don't want to get rejected. It's valid, but it's still a thought. And if you don't deal with that, then you're going to approach, ready? And you remember those thoughts you had? They're broadcasting. You're broadcasting your thoughts all the time. 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 You can't hide. You cannot hide. Don't try to hide. That's what I've changed. Don't try to hide. Don't. Just if you don't want people, if you don't want people to know what you're thinking and feeling, I suggest you change what you're thinking and feeling. How's that? Have you ever worked that issue out? If you don't want that to know what you're thinking and feeling, change what you're thinking and feeling because you're not going to hide it. You're not. You go, well, I've heard it from a lot of people. You're miserable. You don't have multiple relationships. You're miserable. You're scared. You runs your life. You're walking on eggshells and that's the difference. And that's why you can't communicate. You can't express yourself because you're hiding. You're afraid that if you let it go, you're going to say all kinds of crazy. So you sit there and you think 10 times about what you're going to say. Hey, bro. I'm in front of you. Why are you talking to yourself? What's wrong with you? It's a disease. What's wrong with you? Why are you doing that? Why Are you okay with you? Well, I mean, I'm okay with me. I just don't know if you're going to be okay with me. I bet you're not okay with you. Because when you're okay with you, you don't have that thought. You have that thought differently. What you'll do is, if I don't think she's going to be okay with me, I'm going to check me. Why shouldn't she be okay with me? Oh, I don't actually like this bitch. Hmm. Now, if you knew someone didn't like you, you would not be okay around them. You shouldn't be okay around someone who doesn't like you, no matter how much they hide it. Because you can't trust someone who doesn't like you. The first chance they get to upset you, they will. Behind your back, in front of you, whatever. So if you don't like her, then you have two choices. Change the way you feel, which is going to be very easy here. That's, what, that's where the practice is right now. I just consistently change the way I feel. Because the way you feel is not who you are. Listen, the way you feel is not who you are. You think the way you feel is who you are. You can change the way you feel. I've changed a lot of times the way I feel. Haven't you felt something? And then you felt something different later. And then you felt something about one subject and you felt different all the time, all the time. Okay. So as a master of seduction, as someone who understands the mind and how to use the psychology to attract the female properly, you have to be fluid in your movement. You have to be fluid in your thoughts, fluid in your emotions, just fluid. Why? Because you have a job to do. It's like, the circus, it's like Sean, he has a job to do. He could be sore, he could be tired, he could be sick, he'd be in a fight with his girlfriend. Show must go on. And that show that must go on, I want you to understand, is called the show of mating. This show must go on. It's for the man who puts in the time and energy, goes for it, goes through the obstacles, goes through the... It ain't going to be an easy life. Who the f*** has an easy life? You think the guy who goes off grid is easy? I watch those shows all the time. They work all day to live. And then he walks two hours, three hours, chops a tree, brings it back, chops the tree. And at the end of the night, he has a fire. And that was his day is making fire tonight. The next day he's like, well, I need to eat. So he goes hunting for two days, comes back with something. And so even he has a hard time, but he's fulfilled. He's fulfilled. So we can't think about not having a hard time, having an easy life. There is no such thing. That doesn't even make sense to the squirrel. The squirrel doesn't have an easy time. Look at that run up and down a tree a bunch of times. Try it. This dude's up and down a tree all day. 